Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, March 16th, through this coming Sunday, March 22nd, 2015. Well, the energy of this week is very powerful. Thursday is going to bring us the spring equinox and a new moon all together on the same day as a solar eclipse. So this is very potent energy for new beginnings. Um, first, let me address the spring equinox. This is a time of new growth, new direction, new beginnings, new creation, and all this is going to bring new energy for you to birth your dreams and desires. This is your launching pad for all you wish to create in your life now. But first, you must clear the decks and get rid of all that is bogging you down and no longer serving you. So these are the emotions and events, circumstances, physical objects, people, habits, patterns, core beliefs, anything like that that's been clouding your horizon. And do this by writing these things down on a piece of paper. And then you need to release this list physically in a way that's meaningful for you. You can safely burn it. Um, I love what my dear friend in Ireland did. She tore her list into tiny pieces and released it to the strong Irish wrens to carry it away. And this allowed her destiny of goodness to be carried back to her on those same Irish wrens. So whatever way is meaningful for you, to physically release this list that you've written down of all the things that you want to, you know, remove from your life, these blockages that you no longer need. Do that to release it. And so now for the new moon. This is occurring in the final degrees of Pisces. So is the time for creative thinking and imaginative endeavors. And this new moon, it's going to stress imagination, ideals, compassion, belief, and completion. So please allow your sensitivities to guide you and take a leap of faith, knowing that your intuition, your imagination, those wishes and dreams, they're all going to allow you to land perfectly on your path to happiness. And your tender underbelly, <laughs> those imperfections that you worry about, that and your creative spirit and your wisdom, they all blend together to nourish you. These are positive things. And the range of emotions that Pisces can span is extraordinary. So you've maybe found yourself all over the spectrum these past couple of weeks and, you know, continuing into the end of this week. And if you find yourself focusing upon your imperfections and only seeing flaws, and perhaps this is making you tense and irritable, or maybe you're working too hard at fixing things, just remember that Pisces sees imperfection as beautiful and endearing. And this is an asset that's going to carry you to greatness. Your individuality and your authentic self, your true soul self, is where your success lies. So allow this individuality to shine for you. And now, finally, the solar eclipse. The solar eclipses are energy of change. You know, change whether it's good or bad, but it's change that happens in your life for ultimately positive reasons. And this change energy is going to um, encourage your urgency for new beginnings on top of the spring equinox and on top of the new moon, all falling at once. Because the sun is going to enter Aries with this eclipse. And that energy is going to cause you to want to take action on any restlessness that you've been feeling. 
So allow Aries to ignite your courage and your strength to keep you moving forward in positive and generous ways. Pay attention to that generous, that generosity of expansion. And use this time to build your ability to believe in a higher purpose in your life and to become more compassionate in your life. Try practicing tuning into how others would feel. And this is going to help you erase judgments and biases. Those are big energy blocks. And, you know, we need to open this up and allow compassion to flow in our life. And please revitalize your life through experiences that require you to use your imagination, to use your artistic ability, to use your creativity, and to use your compassion and generosity. Please break free from any cumbersome routines and any heavy, heavy obligations and share your dreams with others and let your ideas soar this week. This is going to open up, you know, the avenues for you to create the new life and the new beginnings that you want to see happening around you. So I've pulled the cards for this week, and we're using Angel Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And you know, I love this deck, and one of the things I want to point out that I love so much about it is the artwork by Stephen A. Roberts. Each card is so filled with symbolism. It's, you know, like infinite messages that you can pull out and use. This is a deck that is very, very useful and beneficial for your energetic knowing and expansion. So we're using the three rows, your money, your success, and your well-being. And let's see what we've gotten for this week, for our reading, the energy of this week. Right there, I can, also, I can already see balance. These cards may seem to be, you know, up and down, up and down, but this, I feel, is going to be about balance. So let's start with the first card, which is the Two of Earth. Um, interesting for our money row, because to me, this is a card of feelings of financial instability. And <laughs> with that solar eclipse, this is a card of dealing with change. And, you know, maybe at work or in your life, you feel that you've had too many projects going on. And, you know, this is giving you a bit of stress. So... You know, you're coping, you're doing well, you're functioning, you're, you're meeting everything you need to meet, and this is a good thing. But you need to make some decisions that are going to make your life flow more easily. You don't need to have all this stress, and a lot of it's unnecessary. So look at where you can take some empowerment by making some decisions that are going to allow your life to flow a little bit more easily. And... This card is very much for me about lightening up, considering a more playful approach, not taking things so you know seriously, so stressfully, allowing that to lighten up. This little fairy, it's like she's running away from something. But see, there's a rainbow up here. The rainbow is coming in, and I love all this little stardust that's trying to catch up with her. And these orbs, beautiful energy, trying to get her to notice it. And in this orb right above her is money. The money is there. So allow this energy to be what guides you. Lighten up, be more playful, make some decisions that make life easier for you to allow money to flow in for you. And then our second card for the money row is the world. <laughs> This is beautiful because now you're getting congratulations for, you know, you've done the work. Well done. And, you know, focus not on those stressors of the card before, but focus on the joy and contentment and gratitude that surrounds you. You're ready to move on. Allow these decisions that you're making that are going to create more financial stability in your life 
Allow that to move you on in positive and empowering ways. And recognize your feelings of joy, contentment, and gratitude, knowing that you are whole and you are complete. And this uh, this all lends to your success. It all lends to your financial, wonderful abundance. And also, please recognize your spiritual development because that makes you a whole and contented person as well. And this spiritual connection is going to give you clarity. It's going to give you understanding. It's going to give you the guidance, the intuition that you need to allow more money in your life. You need to tackle the world and recognize that you really are doing better than maybe you give yourself credit for. Then the third card, and the last card in our money row, is the Nine of Water. Another beautiful card of your wishes coming true, a job well done. Nine is completion. It's things coming out well. This is a card of very good fortune. Please don't focus on stress. Focus on the good fortune that surrounds you at all times. So relax and recognize your joy and your happiness. You know, just go over this in your head and in your heart. And rise above emotions. This mermaid, she's risen above, she's smiling. And there underneath the water, look at all these cups filled with abundance and prosperity. And, you know, all the things that you want to bring in. And, you know, she's strong. She's ready. And focusing upon your goodness in your life, that's what's going to increase. Please don't focus on stress. Focus on allowing financial abundance. Realizing that you're really well placed. So moving on to our success row, we're going to start <laughs> with... The Seven of Earth. And this card to me is pulling directly off of these two in the money row above it. Um, this is another you've done the work card. Please don't focus on stressors. Focus on your successes. We're now on the success row. So let's focus on what you're doing well. And any pauses in the momentum of your life or any impatience that you may be feeling, these are only temporary. Things are actually going to move ahead. They're going to start picking up quickly. And um, pay attention to what you're worrying about. Because if you're dealing with unnecessary worry, I, I trust you, you will find that these, these triggers are not based in the reality of what's actually happening around you. They're based in those things that you need to let go of. That stuff you're going to write on that piece of paper and burn or shred into the wind. Let it go and understand that you've come a long way and you've planted the seeds and they're growing. That's just what this is about. And, you know, plan your next steps. See each one of these branches holds a beautiful success, a beautiful achievement, a beautiful, you know, pile of money. Let yourself move ahead and embrace that new growth in your life. Going to bring you success, bring you happiness. And <laughs> the four of air, <laughs> it's pulling off these earth cards. I love this. This is regroup, reset, realign. Allow yourself some time to heal. If you've had a lot of stress in your life, then you need to heal from that. You need to allow your body and your emotions and everything to recover. So allow some dime, downtime. Allow yourself an inner meditative state. Allow that introspection. This is all going to reset your energy. Plan a vacation if you need to. I know you need to make decisions, but make sure you're making those decisions from your heart. And from a place of guidance and intuition that you are allowing. Because this is going to herald the end of a stressful time. So give yourself, you know, the understanding that you've come a long way. You've planted the seeds. Everything's growing. And allow this meditative state. Give yourself a break. It's all going to get better. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> because next, everything's going to happen really quickly. So by the end of this week, things are going to really pick up. Um, this is the time to use your imagination, to use your creative solutions. Be um, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. This perfect blending with these cards of making a decision. And, you know, even an impulsive decision is going to open up the flow for you. Um, it's okay for things to, you're going to be ready. The, the, when things pick up and things open up for you and you start getting those ideas and getting those phone calls and emails, you're going to be ready because you've done the work. You're going to use the energy of this week, the spring equinox, this new moon, the solar eclipse to pave the way for what it is that you want to create and allow in your life, you know, right now. And this row is also emphasizing carefully review your options. I know an impulsive decision is good, but make sure it's based on sound, sound faith. And now moving on to our well-being row, we're going to start with the hermit. And this, you know, again, is emphasizing for me what I was thinking in the beginning, spreading the card out, that this is a week of balancing. Because you've got the four of air and the two of earth and along with the world and the night of air. So understand that this balance of action and quiet contemplation is going to serve you. And the hermit emphasizes that by asking you to listen to your inner voice and allow yourself to understand and discover your own personal goodness. That goes back to the nine of water. Rise above those emotions. And let all that beautiful abundance be there for you because it's waiting for you underneath all that, those emotions. Um, the Hermit is about spiritual connection and realizing that you have wisdom to share that you know you need to seek the wisdom of your own heart and making your own decisions not giving your power away beautiful beautiful card for your well-being for this week and then they're going to kick it up a notch by reminding you that you are stronger than you realize the strength card is beautiful and you know what? The strength, it's safe for you to be confident. And it's safe for you to act with assurance. And please remember the balance of being kind and generous in your strength. Um, power is valuable and it should never be used to manipulate. So um, please be led by compassion. Going back to the energy, very important compassion this week, no more unfair judgments or biases that I was mentioning before the cards because that shuts down energy. Um, forgiveness, compassion, releasing harsh judgments, and allowing your safety and inner strength. And please allow all the experiences and the stressors and the challenges of your life to realize that they've made you stronger and more resilient and better able to make wise decisions and compassionately and generously give to others in your life. So the last card for our well-being row is the Page of Water. <laughs> and this is all that Pisces emotion. Coming back to emotion. Um, this is you know, about speaking your feelings, being safe and communicating um, and needing to communicate with those are, who are close to you what your needs are and what your feelings are and understanding this is safe, it's okay, it, it opens up better opportunities and well-being for you. And your sensitivities, your emotions, your psychic connection, and your intuition, these are all very, very important characteristics for you. You are intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. And allow those things to make your life better. Um, 
allow this to benefit you as well this week if these are attributes that you don't feel that you have. Believe me, somewhere in there you do have these attributes and they're going to help you create things this week and they're going to help you feel more peace of mind and have better well-being. Um, and the best of all, this is the card of allowing new relationships in your life or allowing a current relationship to rise to a new level, you know, to enter a fresh new phase. So allow your imagination and your creativity to bring love into your life. Absolutely beautiful. She's here. She's forging through all these waves of emotion. She's surrounded by these beautiful, friendly dolphins and whales. And here's that cup that she's going to fill with all of her abundance. And, you know, let's see, she's leaving all this craggy stress. But please notice that from this rises light, rises new beginnings, new opportunities. And she's carrying that torch with her. Um... Beautiful, beautiful energy for you this week. Allow this connection to benefit you, to give you the highest potential of using this very important energy of the spring equinox, the new moon, the solar eclipse to create positive change in your life, to create happy, happy new beginnings and put you on the path to where it is that you are going to enjoy your life and your life purpose from the best advantage. So please get in touch with me if you'd like a reading about personal things that are going on for you at this time to give you more understanding and clarity for what you need to know. My website is spiritpathways.net and I would love to hear from you. So have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.